Okay, so today uh, I'm gonna explain uh, as to how do we take an air, an air sample, an air pollution sample, basically capturing the chemicals that are emitted by industries such as these ones. We will receive a call. After we have received a call from community members or while we are at the office, we actually smell because we are also a CBO. We are based in the community where these pollution chemicals are affecting the community. So before we even receive a call from uh, neighboring communities, we will drive around, uh, occasionally sniff around. After sniffing around, once we found we find uh, a place where there is a lot of chemicals, uh, you know, uh, chemical smell, then we will make sure that we sniff around that area because sometimes you might be standing here and the pollution smell is even stronger across the road. So we'll make sure that we sniff around and find the most appropriate spot to take a sample because it's always advisable to find the most appropriate spot where the chemicals are even stronger. That will be your hot spot and then uh, start taking a sample. So now then we go to our bucket system. Step number one, you take the tether bag, we insert it like this as you can see uh, our pa 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 packet lid it's a very uh, simple uh, tool that anyone can do it's a matter of knowing how to do it you insert this nozzle part inside like that and you open here about three threads one two three or four don't open it too much because it yeah. will end up coming out after you have done that because why do you do that you do that because example let's say for example if i close it if it's closed if it's closed and i i blow here nothing will go nothing in will go but in. if i open here it's sort of like i'm open i'm opening so that the pollutants okay. will actually enter. chemicals will enter okay. yeah and then i put it over there with my three thread three or four threads open and then i put it in what's important as well is this screen here on the lid of the 25 liter packet or 20 liter packet is to assist me when i'm taking a sample to see if the tether bag is reacting while i'm pumping the pollutants inside the the bag if it's reacting if it doesn't react while i'm pumping that shows that there's something that i didn't do yeah, probably i did not wrong. open the the, the tether bag so i need to open it up so it's also very important for me to act for 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 a person that's taking a sample to see what they're doing because sometimes you might take too much pumps and then it explodes mm. so it guides you that's why you need a screen there then this here is just a normal pump that you would get at uh, some of the stores like your Messmart, your Macro, your Game Store, and then basically some of uh, some of some of the people they buy the same pump to use it for the aerospace bed. So it's just a normal um, a pump that you use. Yeah. Uh, so it's very user friendly as well uh, for this system. So what happened then is you take your pump, you put it over here black on black and then after that since you are smelling whatever you're smelling in the atmosphere then you start pumping, pumping. so basically it's a crab sample you it's a crab sample you're pumping while i'm pumping i'm looking at my tether bag okay. if it's reacting can you see it's yeah. getting bigger and bigger so basically the pump sucks the air out of the bucket and then it creates it creates uh, a system whereby the air from the atmosphere enters and then it gets sucked into the teller bag okay. so since i'm so, doing that it, it's a great sample yeah, yeah so yeah. whatever that i can smell i will be able to see if my teller bag is reacting Okay, I will stop there and then just open my bucket. So basically, you wanna see what was happening. And then my bag is nice and big, as you can see. I can't go bigger than this because if I go bigger than this, it will explode. Okay. And then I have to immediately 
when I take it out from the peg, I need to close the, the valve. thread, the valve, yeah. I need to close it. And then I need to, it's either use my hands or advisably use a pliers, a long nose. Okay. And then you pull it out. Just like that, you just pull it out. And then I need to make sure it's nice and closed, nice and sealed. Then I have my sample. Okay. I have my sample.